another day, had to pick up all the mail Will and Alex riding through the streets, they be like, there he go Okay, okay, it's okay, girl, your body's so sweet like a yo play But you say I gotta wait, cause I know you ain't the type of girl hitting third base on the first day This is different though, love so quick, call it Usain Bolt Hey guys, so today I decided to do the bomb challenge for you guys. This is a Black History Month, so I thought it would be the perfect time to do this challenge. I did use a few products that were owned by minorities, but not necessarily black um, people. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and if you want to see how to achieve the look, then just keep watching. So to start off, I'm using a Fashion Fair foundation. This is a cream to powder foundation in the shade nutmeg i'm using a sigma f80 brush to blend this out all over my face so this foundation offers a medium coverage it is very buildable so i think you can get it to full if you really wanted to and i'm going to conceal We're using another foundation in a lighter shade this is their stick foundation so i'm just going to apply this under my eyes and everywhere else that i would normally highlight i'm just going to blend it out with a f80 brush as well for my setting powder i'm going to use the sasha buttercup powder i'm going to apply this everywhere that i highlight it and let that bake while i do my eyes i am going to be using this black up powder now pause i know black up is no longer owned by a black person but it was created by a, a black person so i thought it would be perfect to add to this look i am using this um black up powder to contour my face and i'm going to use another shade to apply all over my face which i use regularly and those two shades are 14 and 12 i believe my eyeshadows i'm going to use the juvia's palace masquerade um, palette I'm going to be using a couple shades from this palette these are so gorgeous and they blend really nicely I'm gonna start off with Zulu and I'm gonna play this in my crease area it's such a gorgeous color these colors are so gorgeous you guys like I can't get enough for my highlight under my eyes I'm gonna use Daya Daya I think I'm butchering those names I'm using Ada now to add into my crease using a luxie blending brush I'm gonna drag it out into my inner inner V as well outer V sorry and then I'm gonna take some of this color called Cairo which is in Egypt so I'm going to apply this all over my lid so I'm gonna use an elf brush for this I am going to be putting this all over my lid it's such a gorgeous color you guys I can't get enough of this color like it's so pretty and then I'm going to use this shade from, it's called Copper from Pat McGraw Labs. It is so pretty. I'm applying this to the center of my lid to create a slight halo effect. I also use the Mix and Medium which came with this shade to make it really, really dramatic. For my eyeliner, I'm using this Pat McGrath eyeliner as well. It came with the eye kit, which was perfect. It has two ends, one pointy and one kind of thicker felt tip type of end. And for my inner corner, I am using the same highlight shade that I used for my brow bone from the Masquerade palette. I am taking a little bit of Ada and applying it under my eye on my waterline. For a blush, I decided to use Zulu because I didn't have a brush and highlight I am using Dahlia from the same Masquerade palette, which made a beautiful highlight. I did go over it with Artist Couture from Mac Daddy. And I applied this with a Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And for my lips, I'm using this liquid lipstick from Colored Rain in the shade Bachelorette. Once I am done, that will be the completed look. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.